of the benefits of running a YouTube fishing channel is the friendships you make along the way with those who are passionate about the same sport. My friend Richard has been a longtime follower of Rage Fishing and is the man behind the rigging diagrams provided during the How to Catch Steelhead video series. On this January day, Richard joined me on one of my favorite steelhead rivers, searching for winter steelhead. Ooh, a little trout straight. Okay, get on my way. Got one tucked up. How's your drag? Just realizing I've got him hooked. <laughs> Feel like nice. hugs. So they're doing head shakes. Nightmare jig, huh? Nightmare jig. Over by the rocks. Over on yeah. the other side? Yep. Nice. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's a big fish. Yeah. Really. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm gonna get down here. Okay. Okay. Man, that's a good sized fish. Wow. Okay, I see him. Oh my goodness, that's a big fish. I see him. Man, it's a, <laughs> it is a big fish. We don't have a... This rock kind of has an empty Here spot. Okay, I see him. He doesn't like me in the water, but he's coming my way. Ooh. He's down there pretty deep. You could reel down and then just slowly bring him this way. And get the head up toward, towards the surface just a little bit. Oh. Got it. Brother. Hey, 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 hey. God, he is huge. You want to try to get down here? Sure. 
and soon as you get a picture. Yeah. Hooked out. Okay, line's cut. It's a big native, so I, I just don't want to. I'm just going to kind of keep them in the water. If you want to just maybe step down into the water right here. Okay. And then I'll just kind of hand you my net and get my camera out. Oh my god, this thing's probably 10 pounds. Let me let me uh here take my net. Let me get my Oh I don't have a grip on it. You can let my net go when you're ready. Okay, just slightly lift his head up. Dave, head in the water. Okay, look at me. Okay, lift him one more time. Go ahead and put his head in the water. So I'm going to run a video. <laughs> so just kind of let him get, get, get him moving and whenever you're ready to let him go, just let him go. <laughs> nice job, man. That was awesome. <laughs> Yay, we're done. All right. Well, thank you, Barry. You're welcome. Nailed it, man. Rock out there. Well, let's get you one, man. You should have a buddy out there. Oh, yeah, that's a big buck, so there's yeah. probably at least a pin out there. Just sent a photo to the family so they stop abusing me. <laughs> That's great. Oh, oh, there we go. Yep. Oh, it's a good fish too. This is on a hawking bead. Slow down there, Mama. Good grief. Way in the tail out. I've only got 10 pound leader on here because it's all I had left. She's way in the tail out. coming back though. See if I can get down here a little bit. It's coming this way. Powerful fish.
That's a hatchery fish. Here's the problem. It, it looks like it's hooked in the eye. Yeah. Let me, let me, yeah, it's, it's foul hooked, so I'm gonna have to let it go anyway. Gosh dang it. I'm gonna try, sister, to get that out. Are you ready? Mm. That stinks. Oh, anyway. Okay. Okay. She, she felt strong, but yeah, she uh, she was hooked in. She was hooked right on the side of the eye. Yeah. So I have no doubt that she grabbed at the bead, and the hook grabbed her in the that, in the top of the head. So that was a bead. Yeah, it was actually a hawking bead. Okay. This is a. Uh, I think it's light pink. So. Two on the board. That's a bummer that that's a foul hook. I thought, I was just getting ready to get my bonker out. I thought you were going to have to nail that fish the well, way you hooked it. You got me concerned. See, I don't know if you noticed how skinny she was. Yeah. She was long and skinny. Yeah. So she's already, she's already dropped her eggs. Okay. So that's not a fish I probably would keep anyway. Right. Because the meat is, it, it won't cut like pink. Not It'll ideal. be kind of a light, right. a light pink to right. a white color. So I heard that if you have them hooked outside, you have to let, let it go. Heck yes. Even, even, I heard that too. Yes. Oh, it's a trout. Hold on. <laughs> it's a fish. It's not what I'm looking for. Size trap. No, two we didn't get head. we didn't get skunked. Two steelhead, two trout. Yeah, yours was the, the fish of the day for sure. I'd have felt better about mine if it was pal hooked. Yeah. Uh, not something you can control. No, not really. I almost wonder though if I need to just shorten up and try to keep it closer to like an inch and a half on the peg. I think I probably had about two inches on that one. David and, and I have talked about it. It's like the only thing we could do to avoid injuring fish is not fish. So what's the alternative? Stay home. Uh, I hate it. It's just like, you know, you just got to think, is there anything I could do for next time that, you know, to make that scenario end up better? No, not really. 